Hey everyone, welcome back to another video from English Valley Cafe. My name is Anne. Have you been studying English for quite some time, but you feel like you still don't have enough vocabulary words to help you speak fluently? Well, this video is for you, so be sure to stay tuned and watch to the end of this video. This video might be a little bit long, so it's a good idea if you want to maybe grab a cup of tea or coffee and sit down and enjoy this video. All right, so um, this was a question, a comment that I got uh, from a follower and he said he's been studying English in level three, but his fluency and his vocabularies are still not enough. And this is a very common problem that we all have as an English learner. So in this video, I'm going to talk about how you should be learning new vocabulary words. Now, um, a while ago, I made a video about four tips to help you remember new vocabulary words. So in case you missed that, I will leave the link right up here and also down in the description and you can check that out as well. All right, so first, let's talk about some of the possible reasons that you don't have enough vocabulary words. So one of the possible reasons that this could be happening is because you're not exposing yourself to enough English. And what I have noticed is that for students who make their learning consistent, meaning that they're setting aside some time every single day, whether it's 10 minutes, 30 minutes, or an hour to practice English, they are able to build up their vocabulary faster. So it's really important to um, make your learning consistent and expose yourself to a lot of English words. Another reason could be that you're just not using the right technique to um, learn and study new English words. So today let's talk about what are some of the things that you should be doing when you learn new words. First tip that I'm going to talk about is to do all kinds of activities in English. This could be reading in English, um, listening to music in English, watching TV shows, movies, listening to podcasts, watching YouTube videos, um, interacting with different teachers on social media. So there are tons and tons of things that you can do to practice English. But the key thing here to remember is that you are doing this in an enjoyable way. You are finding topics of your interest and you are making your learning consistent. That's the first thing. All right, the second thing is when you're learning new words, focus on the words that you need right now. And that could be for maybe business purposes to um, communicate with your boss, to talk to your colleagues, to give presentations, to meet with clients. Um, maybe some of you need English right now to um, survive in an English speaking country. So uh, figure out what is your purpose? What is your immediate purpose for um, wanting to learn English and then try to focus your vocabulary learning around that purpose. Um, there are tons of words and we don't need to learn all of the words to be able to communicate fluently with others. Even native speakers don't know all the words. So focus on what is it that you need English for at the moment. All right, the third tip that I have for you is don't look up every word in the dictionary for a few reasons. First, you might get really overwhelmed and then you might lose interest or focus of whatever you are doing. You're probably just going to give up on the task that you're doing. So what you can do is guess the word in context first. Try to read the sentences before this word, read the sentences that's following this word, and from the context, see if you can guess what the meaning of the word is first. So here's my suggestion. If you come across a word like twice or three times and without knowing the meaning of this word, you will not be able to understand the whole context, then you can look up the word. And the other thing is if you have seen this word before, maybe in another reading or when you were watching another film and you still don't know what this means, but you've heard it so many times already, then you can look up the word. Um, another thing related to this is I recommend that when you look up the word, 
try to use a monolingual dictionary. That is just、um, English to English dictionary. There's one monolingual dictionary that I recommend, and that is Longman Dictionary for English Learners.、Um, that dictionary I find it very user friendly, especially for English learners. The definitions they use are very easy to understand. And then they will give you,、um, I believe, like collocations. I really recommend Longman English Dictionary if you、um, are looking for a monolingual dictionary.、Um, so if you watch my other video about fluency where we talked about、um, trying not to translate and think in English,、um, using a monolingual dictionary will help you do that. So don't try to look up every single word and try to guess in context first. All right, this next tip I'm sure you've heard from many, many English teachers, and that is don't learn individual words. Trying to learn words、um, in a chunk, learn phrases, and I'm sure you've heard teachers say when you learn a new word, trying to learn the different forms, the different parts of speech. Like if you learn a word, trying to learn the noun form, the adjective, the adverb、um, of that particular word. The other thing that's really important is learning words in chunks or in phrases.、Um, and one good example of this would be learning collocations. And I'm sure you've heard of this. So, for example, what are all the words that we use with do? For example, we do homework, we do house chores, we do the laundry. Um, so this way, you're not just learning one word at a time, and this will actually save you time because you are learning words, a group of words. So this is a really effective way to learn vocabulary words. All right, and this last tip that I have for you is really, really important, and that is that when you know the vocabulary words and you're able to write it correctly. Um, make sure that you are using the vocabularies in your speaking, and I can't emphasize enough how important this is. Because if you know the definition of a word and you know how to use it when you're writing, but that doesn't necessarily mean that you know how to use it when you're speaking. And especially because in speaking we are in front of the person, like we have to think of the word really fast immediately. So if you don't have that vocabulary word internalized, it's gonna be really hard for you to use it when you're speaking, even though you already know the definition and you're able to use it in your writing. So my recommendation is when you learn a new word, try to make a sentence with it first. All right, because when you're writing a sentence, you can take your time. You can think about how to use this word,、um, and then after you feel comfortable enough, you know you're able to make sentences with it. Try it out in your speaking when you're having conversations with people. So these are the tips that I have of how you should be learning vocabulary words. Now everybody learns differently, so if there's a technique that you're using and you find it really useful. Please share it with us down in the comments, and I'm sure that it'll help other students as well. All right, and don't forget to check out the video talking about how to become fluent if you missed that last week, and the other video where I talked about four tips to help you remember new words. And if you have any questions or comments about the video, leave them down in the comments. I do read all comments, and I do respond to the comments. And please share with a friend who could use this video. That's it for today. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.